A new play that talks about hot button issues like race and immigration is playing in the Bay Area. It's called Native Gardens. And here to tell us all about it are two of the play's stars. Amy Resnick and Marlena Martinez, welcome to Bay Area Focus. You guys, the overarching premise of this is, is really what? Well, it's about a young Latin couple who moves next door to an older, more established couple in the D.C. area. And we discover that a fence that has been there for a long time is actually in the wrong place. So a property battle ensues. Ah, oh, so <laughs> then insert conflict here then. Yes, yeah, exactly. But it's, it almost becomes more than just a fence, right? Yeah. Yeah, it becomes, uh, it's, tw it's over 23 inches of land. My husband in the play, Frank, is um, an expert gardener. He's retired and everything uh, balances upon whether or not he wins the garden club award. And they move in next door. They want a native garden. Um, and uh, my husband is fine with that. We welcome them in. And then uh, they find out that they have more property, 23 inches, and they dig up my husband's hydrangeas and ruin his <gasps> garden. A well, gas. 23 a inches gas. over 80 square feet gets and it to becomes, be... Oh, sorry. Yeah, it gets to be quite pricey. Becomes a border conflict as well. That's kind of what the meta is in this particular play. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and we are uh, one, we are a very conservative, wealthy couple. And we're very liberal, so we have different views politically and how we cultivate our garden. And different cultures as well. I mean, it's a called Native Garden, and that's relevant. Why? Because I want, my character wants a Native Garden. I want something that can, is a part of the earth and can help biodiversity, and they want something very foreign and, and pesticides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so it's very apropos. It's set in D.C. Yeah. Um, and with what's going on in D.C., right. how does it kind of parallel real life? Well, in it, um, we talk about who's a foreigner, right? Mm -hmm. And her, uh, Marlene's husband, or Tanya's husband in this, mm -hmm. is played by Michael Lopez, is from Chile. But he was from very upper class Chile. And he's new in a law firm when, where he feels like the foreigner. And Marlene, you can take over about where you're from and the PhD that you're working right. on. Right, so I'm from New Mexico. My character's from New Mexico, but I'm seen as very foreign, even though I am American and my family has been in the same place for over 200 years. So we start to talk a little bit about, you know, what is foreign and who is supposed to be there and and that is through the plants as well and all the cultural differences as right. well as the political differences right yes. without giving away too much about the end of the play i mean we know that it parallels what's happening in the country and there's a lot of animosity right now yeah. is there hope for us through you know the the end of the play it's a comedy oh. it's funny <laughs> so we can laugh at ourselves we can laugh at each other and it's really a way to talk to the other side of the fence and understand that we're a part of a bigger community and it's not just about what's ours and what we think is right it's about coming together as a whole and what's interesting is she flips it. You think, oh, the DC couple is going to be the stodgy. But actually what turns out is that suddenly when you find out that you have 23 inches of land, we want it. And we don't care that we we're buy. digging up a garden, <laughs> right? Right. And so it turns on itself in a way. It's not, um, it's not typical, mm -hmm. you know? And you find out that it's not black and white. Right. It's a play that's about there are many gradations between black and white and that we all pretty much land somewhere on that. And I think what it's, a, it's a, about humans. It's about, I want my property. Because I can remember even when I was like eight years old, I remember Rock Carlson living next door to me and saying, you can't Shout step out. over the, this, this, this water meter because this is our property. No rock, you're not allowed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not <Okay>. today. <laughs> so, you know, it, so that's like, uh, it goes back to when we were kids, right. you know, this idea of property and what do we own? Um, and, uh, and that ends up being the conflict within the play. And there is resolution, but we both have to hear each other's side. 
so in order to have that. Well, and I feel like that's a great lesson for everybody. It exactly. doesn't matter who you are or what side of the fence you're on. For you know anyone who's interested in this play, who do you feel like this is really going to resonate with, or does it? Is it you know? Is there a niche or not? I hope it resonates with all audiences. I think we can all learn from seeing ourselves in a different light. And what makes it so great is these characters are so human and they contradict themselves in so many ways, just, just like we do as people. So we can see that we all ha have our own conflicts within each other and everyone should be able to take something from that. And that's the importance of art, right? Yeah. Is that we learn from it and it makes us better. Thank you guys so much. Thank I really you. look forward to seeing this. Yay, it's going to be awesome. You. Good luck with opening night. Thank you. And don't miss Native Gardens at Theater Works Silicon Valley playing August 22nd through September 16th. For tickets to Theater Works, you can go to theaterworks.org. Well, coming up, Love Paris and Jazz when Bay Area Focus returns in a moment.